Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the third part of this tutorial. Uh, we are creating an animated painting look of a moving tree and falling leaves. So in the past two tutorials, we looked at how to create the terrain, how to create the tree and make it ready for Arnold render it. Now we are going to animate the leaves. So let's see how that is done in 3ds Max. So this is what we have achieved so far. Uh, look at the description below to the link to the other two tutorials. We have these leaves and now we need to create one more leaf. So for the scale, this seems like a good size and we don't want so many height segments. Maybe three by three is good. okay so and then we will actually have a bigger leaf so the animation looks it's more visible in the animation all right so again we will assign the same material we have created this one to the leaf so in this view i'll bring it So you can see, oh, I assigned the wrong material, it is this one. Assign material to selection, right click and better to rename these. Okay, so we will have to scale it in this direction. All right, so we'll turn edged faces on and we need one more subdivision, I guess. Oh, it's not necessary. Okay, so what we will do is hierarchy, affect pivot only and move the pivot to the base. This is the first thing we'll do. We will modify the leaf, so we'll add a bend modifier. You can see the how it is bending, so it is minus 80 or something, too much minus 60. Okay, but it has to be in the other direction, so we'll turn the angle snap on, rotate the gizmo 180. Why don't we rotate it like this? So our leaf has some 3D look to it. Okay, so this is our leaf. It can even face the camera for a better look. Okay, so there is the camera, so I'll put it close to the camera like this. Let's see if it is visible. That's the leaf there very tiny all right so now we'll go to perspective what we need to do is we need to put a lot of these trees where is the camera camera is here so we need the leaf is it facing the camera or is it facing the other way So let us rotate the leaf that way. So we want this leaf on the ground. So we'll go to the 3D snapping, right click on the 3D snapping and make sure that it is uh, the face snapping is selected. So what we can do is we can move and we'll have to unfreeze all so that we can then now snap our leaf to this plane. You can see that it is snapped and it is on the plane now. Okay, and
slightly above the inside the ground but that doesn't really matter okay you can simply try to if you see move it anywhere and it will always be we can move the pivot point slightly down so that the leaf is in that is good so the leaf is on the ground I don't know this pivot point is really good Okay, so whenever you copy this leaf, it will always be on that ground. Okay. So we need to copy a lot of these. And before I copy, I think I need to make them bigger. One bigger. Now you can turn the 3D snapping on and simply you can copy and then you can even add a few numbers. So you can have so if you Copy it like this and add a few numbers. You will get a bunch of leaves. And they will all be on the ground because we have this snapping on. Okay. So it depends on you how many leaves you want to create. Uh, you can simply have some fun creating a lot of leaves. And try to place them more on one side because the wind is flowing in that direction and there are more leaves on one side than on the other that's the illusion we want to create and then you can simply randomly rotate them a little bit here and there so they don't look like they are all mechanically placed okay so add some randomness uh, again, we are not using any particle effects which can do these things much faster, but we are trying to do something real quick and dirty using normal tools. Okay, so if you are a beginner, this is a good tutorial for you to real quickly get this done. So once this is done, now we will animate the leaf. So select any leaf. Oops. In the we have to make sure that we are in the right view. So this is our camera. So I can work in this view. And then all you have to do is auto key on. We will have 240 frames. So shift, control, alt, right click and drag. So we have 240 frames. I turn the auto key on and I'll turn this key no toggle on. So after 20 frames, so I'm going to animate it in one way and then animate it again in the other way. Okay. So now snapping is off. So this leaf which is on the ground is going to go up. Okay, and then if you go to the motion panel, turn the motion path on, you can see that this leaf, it will always fall in this direction. Okay, so 40, it goes up. And so the leaf falls and comes like this. And then it can, so you can turn the sub object on and select this and move it down if you want. 
so it slows down as it comes and at 60 it goes up if you want the lift to be somewhere else all right so that's it so our animation is reversed so the 40 goes after 60 20 goes after the last keyframe so this way we will reverse it so now 60 becomes 0 this is at 20 this is at 40 and maybe this will take more frames to reach down 70 and then now we animated our first leaf so it comes like this and then you can turn the motion paths off focus on that leaf there and see so our leaf has fallen and then you can add now if I click here it's jumping from keyframe to keyframe so you can also add some rotation to the key if you want so the leaf is Okay, moving. And then now you can select all the keys and then shift and drag to copy. So now you have the tree. Okay, so this leaf is coming here and falling and then we will move this to some other distance. Okay, so now we have two leaves. Okay, this way we keep animating. So at frame number 20, it is here. at 40 this say for example simply falls down and maybe the leaf is in that direction and it falls like that And then again we reverse the direction 60 so some heavy leaves will fall down directly okay, and then it starts at say 30 and there is wind so it should not simply come down but there is more drift and then it will fall down okay and then you can shift copy this yes everything is deselected and then I'll simply copy this ah I will have to turn off the auto key and then copy it. Okay, and then you can see that two leaves are falling the same way. Auto key off, shift, copy.
So it does it. vary the location okay so they fall at different times at different places you can move it there so it falls there okay so you can animate some more leaves for example this one auto key moves here goes up And then this will have more frames. Okay. You can animate the rotation of the leaf. and what not okay and then we need to reverse the direction so this goes here this goes here simply move them Starts at 40, auto key off. So these two are same now. Change the location. So I go to camera, make it big, two leaves, the third one comes, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And then you can Okay, so you can check how the leaves are animating and then fix any issues if you have any. For some reason,
Okay, so now we got the leaf animation done. Now we are going to look at how to animate the tree itself. So I'll select the tree and go to modify panel and we'll add a mesh select modifier which will allow us to select the mesh and we are going to use this random selection tool and we are only going to select the end vertices of this leaf like this okay and then we will do control do the same thing from some other views and add some more selection okay So once the, the selection is done, we will turn on soft selection and then you can turn the soft selection how it works and increase it. Don't go too much because we don't want the actual tree to start animating. And then you can also type here and say leave. So we are creating a selection. So if you miss the selection, you can simply go here and click on leaves. Alright, and we will add a simple noise modifier. Alright, and then noise we will have to add 25. So you can see this. And then 15 in Y and 5 in Z. So 25 is the direction of the wind and we will animate it. So if you hit the play button, you can see how the Let us focus on here. Okay, you can see that our soft selection is too much and the trunk is moving, which is not good. So let's select the selection. Mesh select. And we will reduce the Okay, you can see now only the, I think maybe my mistake, I had selected the trunk. So you can grow this selection and then see, yeah, that looks good. Did not animate before, and then when I deselected it, I have started. Noise modifier, 25, 15, 5, animate, okay, 
and then you go to modify phase is 103 so I'll make it 50 not the phrase but the frequency 0.15 so it will move less okay so 0.1 that looks good okay so the tree is animating the leaves are falling and we have not animated the camera so you can just add a little bit of camera animation to see the environment turn the auto key on and simply move the camera another side ever so slightly I want to keep that tree where it was Okay, so you can here you can see how much the camera is moving and then you can control if you want to move the camera too much or too little so you just have some camera animation or it can move in the other direction whichever direction you think has better mountains And that's it and the last thing to do is go to render setup make it 1280 by 720 range 0 to 240 okay render output I have created a folder inside here it's better to create a folder called render double click on it and then here we can call it tree or nature whatever your name you want to go but we are going to save it as a jpeg file okay now each of these files take approximately one minute to render so and there are 240 frames so it is better that you render it as image so if it stops you can restart it from there okay so you don't lose the work if you select animation and then if you do half and then it might you know not show the animation at all and you don't know which one was the last frame and it becomes complicated so it's better to save it as images and it will automatically save uh, as frame numbers Okay, we're going to use HDTV 1280 by 720. And that's about it. You start rendering. Uh, the shadow, I didn't fix the shadow, so we'll cancel it. Auto key is off. Very important when you're animating that you turn the auto key off. And we go to active shade. And then we'll move the light down so we get nice long shadow. Okay, any other changes you want to make you can, based on if it's too bright, too. I think it is kind of too bright. So what you can do is maybe reduce the intensity of the light. 
the exposure is already 1. So if we make it 0 0.5, okay, so it is less intense now. And you have the sky and the mountains. We didn't have any reflection, so if, if I thought that reflection looked quite interesting. So if you go to your terrain and the roughness is say 0.7 and then you can see what kind of look you get. Okay, so it has some reflectivity onto it which might look a little shiny and interesting. It's up to you. Alright. So that's about it. Thank you very much.